Hello, my name's Claire Williams and I'm an instructor with Chesvale Dog Training Club. And this is Gail, who is also an instructor. And Gail is here with Polly, who's a four month old Springer Labrador cross. We're going to be talking about how we teach the novice recall today. There's basically four elements of the recall. You have the weight, the come, the present, and then the finish. Now we teach all of these elements separately, so the dog has a really good understanding of all of them. If you put them all together all of the time, there is a risk that the dog will start to anticipate the whole exercise, which is something that you don't want to happen in the obedience ring. So we're going to look at how we first start teaching the weight. We need to have the dog learn to sit by uh, the handler's side. Everything starts on the left hand side. This can be done in the sit or the down. It's often better to do it in the sit just because the dog is able to get up and move quicker when the handler calls the dog. So here we have Polly is just sitting in, going to be put into the little sit by the handler's side. And first stage is she just needs to learn that she can just calmly sit by the handler's side. As you see, all the work is done on the lead at the moment whilst we're in these early training sessions with the dog. Gail's obviously using uh, tip bits to reward her for a lovely calm sit. Once we've got a nice little sit there, we can start to move away from the dog very slowly. So first of all, Gail's going to put her into the sit beside her, and then she's just going to command her to sit and then just take a little step to the right. And then return to her side and reward her. The important thing to use here is also uh, what we call a release command, okay. which we use as OK. And that says to the dog, you can move out of that position now. And we want the dog thinking, I stay in any position until you command me to do otherwise. So Gail's just going to do that a few times now. Sit. Good sit. Well done. Good sit. Wait. 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 Okay, so Polly got up there, so Gail's just gone back to her side to put her back in the sit. When you're dealing with a puppy that's very young, obviously they have a very short attention span. So we try to keep everything fun and rewarding with lots of praise involved in it. So once Gail's, Gail's done that a few times, she's now going to see if she can not only just move away from the side, but also start to take a step forward because that's the bit at the start of the exercise where the handler leaves the dog. Sit. Good girl. Good sit. Sit. Good sit. Sit. Wait. 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 Good girl. Good girl. That was lovely. Okay. Good girl. Good sweetie. Thank you. So that's really the basic way of how we start off teaching the weight with the dog. So moving the weight on with uh, a slightly older puppy here is that he's learnt a little bit of the sit and wait so I can start to test that a little bit now. So, Sprouty, sit, wait. Sprouty, sit, good boy, wait. So I can leave him a bit further on the lead, wait, good boy, that's wait, good. And then I'll go back and reward him from that, good boy, wait good boy and then what I might do is just test it a little bit so I'll give him the command wait and then just wait test the oh good boy wait that's a good wait so by doing lots of exercises in the wait and getting rewarded for them he also learns that the wait is a good a good place to be and he won't be so keen to anticipate and come to me because he's never quite sure if I'm going to reward him for staying in that position or for actually calling him good boy wait Okay, what I might then do to move it on, Sprouty sit, is take the lead off and build in a little bit more distraction with him. So I might ask him to wait and I might move in a little jig or I might move myself along. Are you waiting? Oh, good wait, good boy, lovely wait, good boy. Go back and reward him, wait, and then go again. And I might even bend my knees Good wait, good boy, wait. So he's not always thinking that I'm going to call him. Good boy, well done. That was really good wait, well done. Okay, good boy. 
So eventually you get to a point where you can build up the distance that you leave them and you're just standing here because you never quite know how long the steward is going to be before they tell you to call your dog from when you've turned. So you need your dog used to just sitting there until I go back to him and reward him and release him. Good wait, good boy. Okay, and the release command is okay. Good boy, well done. <laughs>